Hey guys, it's Vanessa from Cake Style, and yes, I am finally, finally back with another video. I know everybody has been waiting such a long time, so many weeks. Um, unfortunately, I was quite unwell, and so I wasn't able to make some cool cakes for you guys, but now I have, and I've come up with this gorgeous bath bomb that looks like it's floating, and it's even got some adorable little bubbles on there. I had a lot of fun making this, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. The first thing I want to get started on is that cool board. So I've made up some fondant in blue, pink and yellow and I'm going to break it up and just roll them into long sausages. You can see I'm using a fair bit of blue here because most of our bath bomb is in the blue shade. Now I'm going to squeeze them together, stack it up and just continue to roll turning it over and then rolling again. Now, I must have done this about 20 times or so just to get a cool mix of colors. Then you wanna pop down a bit of corn flour and roll it out. Now, I use corn flour instead of icing sugar because I find that it doesn't make the fondant crack. It doesn't dry it out at all. Then just roll it up and place it on the board. Give it a trim with a pizza cutter and allow it to set up for about a day. Then I'm gonna get started on those awesome bubbles. I've blown up some water balloons. I'm attaching them to skewers just with some sticky tape and I'm making them in lots of different sizes. Now you wanna go ahead and spray them with a little bit of vegetable or canola spray and this just helps the gelatin not to stick. So I'm mixing some gelatin and some cold water, giving it a stir and then popping it into the microwave for 20 seconds. Then I'm adding some yellow, some blue and some pink and swirling it to create a cool marble effect. Then all you need to do is dip all of those water balloons in and allow them to set for a full day. These are so easy to make, you'd be amazed and they look so adorable with all of these cool marble effects happening. I really loved it and I think this was my favorite part of all. Now you just wanna cut them with some scissors. It'll pop the balloon and then you can pry that out and then just trim it up with some scissors. Be sure that they are super sharp because otherwise it can give a bit of a jagged finish. Now I have two cakes baked in an eight inch ball pan. I have some of our sweet buttercream made up. I also have a little cake plate and a round cookie cutter. I'm gonna use that to make a smaller cake board for myself. And then I wanna go ahead and layer the cakes using a sharp bread knife. And then I'm gonna start adding all of our cool shades of buttercream into each layer. So at the bottom I have our bright yellow, then we're adding in that super bright electric blue and topping it off with some hot pink. Let this chill in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Then you wanna get started with your crumb coat. So just coat the entire ball cake with our blue. Flipping it over halfway. And then allow this to chill in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, which is adding on our buttercream. Start with a good base at the bottom of the cake with our blue again. And then you wanna start adding all of those other cool colors. Just in a sideways motion, we add our yellow, pink, and then also adding in a little touch of white. Make sure it looks super random and just continue to smear it across with your spatula. Now I'm gonna take some granulated sugar and sprinkle it over that part of the cake. patting it down to make sure that you get rid of the excess. And now you wanna do the exact same thing to the rest of the cake. So I've flipped it back over. I'm gonna apply a really good coat of our blue. I absolutely love this pink shade. It was made with Americolor electric pink and I added a fair bit of color, but it gave us a really, really cool finish of this almost neon kind of pink. So smear them all on and then just go around with your big spatula and scrape it back don't worry about it being perfectly smooth because bath bombs are always a little bit rugged looking. Now pick it up and then we want to sprinkle on a whole pile more sugar. 
don't worry, most of it falls off, but it just gives a really cool effect to this cake. And then all that's left is to assemble our cake. So I'm gonna attach it with a little bit of buttercream, place it down, and then you just wanna pop on those bubbles. And if you were taking this cake to someone else, I would make sure that I attach these right when you get there. And that's how you make a bath bomb cake. Thanks for watching guys. I had a lot of fun making this and it's so nice to be back filming for you. I think it's cool to come up with some sculpted cakes that don't involve fondant or modeling chocolate, just good old buttercream. I really love doing the bubbles as well and this awesome board. So I hope you had fun watching. If you'd like to see another sculpted cake done with buttercream, be sure to check out our Starbucks cake as well. Thanks guys and I'll see you next Tuesday.